Okay, I'm in a Pontiac. And when I fired it up the first time, I knew you guys would want to hear it. Okay, at the beginning of this, I'm going to talk to the Automobile Buyers Club people. And so I'm going to put the timestamp when the actual walk around starts so everybody else can watch. But maybe you want to watch the Auto Buyers Club thing to where you can see what we're talking about. But I'm checking out stuff, I'm buying stuff. Here we go. And by the way, we will be doing a second round of the Automotive Buyers Club and I'm going to lower the minimum somehow. We're going to figure this out differently. I don't know, I'm going to run it all through somebody. We're going to, I can't keep track of everything if I do lower minimum. It just, it's hard. So yeah, that's going to be his thing. It's going to be a long intro. Oh well. This ain't easy to get the preview done, get down here, get traveling, get checked in, get everything, upload everything, edit everything, get it on YouTube, upload, come on guys, I'm trying though. A quick word to throw in here somewhere, a word or two actually. Number one, I'm not going to be everybody's new best messaging buddy or phone buddy or anything like that. Um, I won't mention no names, and they're probably not in the club, or maybe, I don't know. But one guy called me six, seven, eight times to tell me how he's going to raise the money to do this. And sends me these messages with grand plans and everything, and it sucks for me to say this, but I don't care. It's not what I'm doing. And like, I don't, have, I don't answer the phone all the time. I, I, my phone message says, hey, this is Nathan. I don't really take messages. You can try back in a while, or call the office. Here's the number. People call the office. I'm out busting my butt. I got up at 5.30 this morning, trying to get shit done to get the video up, to trade stock for a few hours, before I can get on the road, get a couple, get the power washer loaded into the car, and do all this stuff to get my car on the road, get in the area of the auction, preview the auction, do what I need to do, and buy and sell and deal with my private label and herbal business and the rental people and the people that are doing construction on it. Everything I've got to do, and everything I'm forgetting to do, I don't have time to talk to new people because you gave me 500, well, I made a thousand minimum, because you gave me a thousand or two grand. Well, it's not that kind of thing, man. I'm making a group. We can talk in here, and I'll try and be diligent on saying things. I post, I leave, I work. I don't even answer comments. Don't get all butthurt or nothing because I don't answer comments. And no, 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 I'm trying. It's a lot of work to get this all tacked together. Also, I'll be walking through the cars and doing these things. I don't just buy anything. I'm not there to buy a car. I'm there to get a deal. And they're to make money. It might take a few weeks to get all the money invested. And in the meantime, I've got cars that I'm doing in my business and I've got to keep my business rolling. Just because someone gave me a grand and I got 10 grand here from people don't mean nothing in the whole gist of things that I'm going to be the new message buddy and phone buddy or, or just I'm now everything I'm doing, your partner's in my whole thing. I got millions of dollars rolling around here to make this stuff work. So that's the deal. Thanks for watching. My neighbors probably think I'm crazy. I don't care. And I gotta buy a car for my woman to drive and stuff. And I gotta buy a car for me to drive. And I might not be splitting everything I buy. I mean, we'll just do it to it. We're gonna make money. And I already guaranteed you won't lose money. So you are where you are on that if you're in. So thanks for watching. Check all this out. It's gonna be a long intro. Oh well. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is my car making this crappy hotel look awesome. That car looks so bad to the bone, I'll tell you what, buddy, it's bitching. And it drives nice. So, Auto Buyers Club, and I'm doing the Auto Buyers Club thing here on YouTube. And I just did the walk around today at the auction. And at the auction, I got all kinds of pictures, all kinds of video. But I couldn't use Google Glass because Google Glass, it takes me to put it onto a certain computer, older computer. Windows 7 is what I need. <laughs> so, like, basically, I didn't. Uh, I took it on my phone. So I got video of the stuff for all you guys to check out and I put a timestamp in the beginning of this to where you can see exactly when the video starts of that stuff because the investors are going to be more interested in this stuff. So I'm spending your money right now. You just spent $76 of all y'all's money to put me up for the night. But it gets me to the auction. And that's one thing, get into the auction the night before or even getting the same day. It sucks to get up at 3.30 and try to get to the auction by 6 to where you can sleep or work on the computer for an hour to get in at 7 and preview till 9. Um, you just don't want to get up at 3.30. And then your whole day is kind of bleh. So I'm at the crappy, actually it's the crappiest Motel 6 I've ever stayed in. But it's, a, it, it's what it takes. And I, I'm, not, I'm not very high classy. I don't care how classy the hotel is. Unless I get a deal on it. Like a, 
uh, Sunday through Thursday in Vegas. Oh man, give me a classy hotel. But that's the deal. I'll show you the room a little bit and all that kind of stuff. But this will be a video of what I've got on here and what we are previewing at the auction tomorrow. And there'll still be stuff coming on to the auction that is not there yet even. So maybe some of that will pop up. Who knows what I'll buy. Um, I'm looking for a car for me and Anna still. And where she can drive something. Check out this room. Actually lucky. Everybody buy a lottery ticket. Because it's the, it's the lucky 222. Oh, so first thing I see when I come in here is this stuff I ate. But it looks like stinking poo-poo or something. But it's like a burn mark. And like the room is just like... Looks like somebody was clawing to get out of here. Probably don't. But it's not that nice. And I'll tell you what else. Look at this. Come over here. I'm like, this is gross. Come on, dude. What if some big old boy just come all over this stuff before I came in here? That's freaking dis... That's disgusting. So needless to say, I'm sleeping on that side. And I'll tell you what. This side's got a big burn hole in it. The sheets have got marked. Look at this. This was on there. I was like, yeah, I'm sleeping in my... Sleep it in my clothes. Not only that, check this out. This is the weirdest thing. Come on. Get maintenance back in here. I ain't dragging my balls across the front of the thing where all the piss lands. That's ridiculous. There's burn marks all over there. You didn't buy me much, okay? Next time I'm going for extended stay where I know and it's $25 more. No, it's $30 more. Yeah, this is 76 plus tax. It might be 80 something. Whatever it is. It's the cost of doing business to get to these auctions. So I hope you enjoy what I tried to put together here. It did, I, this has went on for a while, I'm sorry. But I hope you enjoy. I really am trying to get this stuff up for you guys to where you can see what we're doing a little bit quicker. If you got your money in, great. If not, touch Shisky. We'll do it next time. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com OneOwnerCarGuy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com And I'm here. I've got an 06 Monte Carlo. And I'm making this for the Automotive Buyers Club. And for those of you who have put money in, this is one of the cars. And I'm not going to do it as thorough on each of these. But I'm going to do a quick video on a few to where we can see. Oil, light. Oil lights on. Now it's off. Check engine lights on. That was pretty good. It's a green light car. But this guy's... I didn't like how it stalled down. It's just the governor regulator thingy on these newer ones. Okay, well, I'm here. I'm looking. I'm going to put a list with this, and we're going to do it to it. There's this. It's an 06 with like 86,000. It's clean in. It's clean out. No alarms going off everywhere. Little broken things like that. It's not too bad. That's one of the things I'm kind of looking at today. I don't know if the AC works. That's one of my main things on these. How they run, how they shift. Check engine light and airbag. You know you can hear other... That's just how you check through. Weird cough. But you'll hear other people revving them up the same way I do. I'm not used to it being on Celsius. This is a Canadian thing. I'm sure it changes. There we go. And I do not feel that. Ooh, the check engine light is blinking. That can't be good. Probably a cable pack or something. Okay, number 45 here. This is the number I really want to see. Well, it's clean. It's beautiful. And I like them. It's got about 138, if I remember right, from online couple scuffs right there. It's got a couple more miles than I would usually do. I actually had a guy call me with a brome today. I gotta take this. Oh my god, look how nice the seats are. This is a nice, I think it's a GS. 135, yeah.
like the way the motor sounds. God, it's beautiful in and out. It's clean and straight as can be. I know it was a one or a two owner. I'm uh, sorry, I'm making it my phone. A little bit of upper engine noise. Damn it. But, probably not that big a deal. And with it doing this, well, when I say not that big a deal, it's the kind of thing that's going to go super cheap because everybody knows it's pretty obvious what's wrong with it. Oh, God, it just it's so clean and tight. Look at that brand new Firestone rubber. Somebody wants this. Okay, I have more cars on my list. 100 and something. 105 Escalade Platinum ESV. It's got some sort of... Um, I don't know if the aftermarket wheels are just coated. It's got 158 on it. Yeah, they're definitely aftermarket and coated. Two strokes against it. But it was clean on the inside. And it, over there. I didn't see that. But that webbing, I can get that replaced pretty cheap. God, the seats are dirty. Very dirty, the floors and seats. Oh, that's dead. Well, we'll take this one off the list. But it's gonna go cheap. Okay, I'll clip more in, in a second. This one certainly is an ugly cuss. And it might go just cheap because of that. Look at those bubble eye lights, man. Aftermarket crappy stripes on it. But it does give it a different look. It makes it look a little more exotic. Um, might just start it up. They're nice wheels. MRR design. Clean on the inside. It's not all cracked up or nothing on the body. Inspired plates. Probably a little bit of extra fees there. But one of the things that we make money on in our little club thing is cars that have fees and then can be shipped out of state and those fees don't apply. Dead battery. So, you could get a little bit more into it and researchy and all that. Times a hundred cars though, it's not prudent. This is on my list. I don't do much Asian import type cars and trucks, but this one's a little stretch cab. It doesn't look to be rusty. It's on my list. The interior looks clean, but Front end looks bashed up, unfortunately. 137. Yeah. He's a fender. You know, I may as well start it. This is going to some landscaping. Ah, this side's all screwed up. It's not clean enough for what I want. This is on my list also. It's a Crown Vic. Wow, is there bullet holes in the door? Holy frickin' crap puck. Oh shit. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, we'll just take a, a capture of that. And then we'll do a, a capture of that. And then we'll do a capture of that. I see so many things that could make the best. Yeah, I didn't think it was. Somebody hit with a screwdriver or something. 119. Looks pretty clean. Huh. Really? <laughs> Everything's dead today. This wasn't on my list, but it sure is cute. Oh, graphite wheels. Uh, Borussia edition or something. See if it says it on the other side. This phone is just multi zoomed in. Yeah, you know. Little spade club. Huh. A 2015. Too new for me. We're here for this. And oddly enough, this is a 10 owner. 175,000 mile. Or 179. Yeah. DY design. 
whatever he puts design with the name of their wheel, and it's supposed to be just awesome. Now you can tell a lot of the car by what kind of tire. Michelin's, holy smoke. Wow. Okay, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the cleanness. I'm impressed. Somebody left it on. Specifically to kill it. Yeah. Little cassette thing. Car's clean. Carmax. Huh, professional use. Associate vehicle purchase form. Interesting. Well, I am interested because it's so clean. I hope you can see because I really do hate. I got one of these. Might have the books because somebody left this thing on to kill it. Medical kit, changer. Yeah, I don't know. It's the point where they're old and they're used, and you don't know if it's worth trying to do anything on. Look at the seats in this big beat up van. They look pretty clean. Holy hell. Look at the handicap ramp. Wow. That wasn't interesting. 190, I'm still not. If that was a little cleaner, I'd be all over it. It's been here for a few weeks. It's got some nice tires on it. Eh, okay tires. It's just not clean enough. Ring, ding, 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 ding. Yeah. We all know how they start. Um, there's a Mustang. Oh, right over there. I'm into here. That's on my list. Uh, this Camaro's a Z28. It's an O2. It probably should be on my list. If it's a six speed, let's make sure and do it. This one's nice too. It's a GT. June 18. You're not going to get the whole thing, and this bounces around a lot more than my camera or my glass, I'm under the impression. Chick had this car. It smells a little perfumey, maybe. What do you think about me now doing some pushing on the gas? Everybody that's invested might be a little happier that I'm checking out the trannies and such. I'm going to leave this running for a sec. I want to make sure that works. We might pop the hood. I like it. I think the AC is popping on. Um, now here's the typical question. 05 Mustang with 95 on it. Or 02. And that one's on my list too. It's a 72,000 mile um, six cylinder. Or do you get an 02 73,000 mile Z28? Truthfully, Z28 is cooler than the miles, baby. Hope it starts. Uh, age period correct. Key chip alarm. Cool stuff. They might still do that. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, my. Angry something. When you're trying to see, basically, does the tranny engage right? Does it go from neutral to drive? And you can feel everything engage. 35th anniversary. Excuse me. And yes, I'm pretty sure the AC is ice cold. I'm gonna 
go ahead and check the one in the Mustang. Now this car is a green light car, I almost guarantee it. Nice car. Um, uh, it's chilly, but it's not ice cold. So, now this car shouldn't go for more than like, depending on who's here, between five to 45 to 5,500 bucks or so. Oh yeah, nice. This one has 72,000 miles on it. It's an O2. Six cylinder. Um, it's a manual six cylinder. I've been looking for something fun for Anna to try and drive. And these in a six cylinder are truly fun little cars, especially by O2. You had a bit more power than the earlier ones. Not that the earlier ones were. Okay, we had some music there. Oh God. The thing sounds absolutely like new also a 35th anniversary just because of the year not much special on them because of that i don't think this one actually has the books which is kind of cool it says it needs an oil change these are fives wow i thought they were six by this year maybe just in the v8s much feels good ac is hot It's getting colder, hang on. Windows were T-top, T-top car, sorry. This, this is not an uh, ideal thing. It's cool, but it's not, it's not ice cold. Okay, so this is definitely on the list. Looks like a clean car. And yeah, we'll have more here in a second. It's gonna be pretty hard to make videos with Google Glass and this. I got a limo here, 151 on 08, Executive L. Oh cool, I like the array of drink holders in the middle. This is pretty nice. The window, the tinting's going bad, I think, on it. What that is. Royal Coach. And see, this would be neat. Maybe some of you guys could figure out some of what this is worth and help me on that end. It's fun buying and looking and little pillows in there and stuff. Pretty cool. I like the wood. I like, I like the limo, but let's see how it starts and runs. It looks clean in the auction, but this top had some... Oh, see, my buddy could take care of that. We just wrap it down here too, or repaint that. It's just a little, it's just a little messy. 158 is not much for an 08. It's really not, it's a long little, oh yeah. Here we go. You need a big baller to split stuff with me. Then we'll, we'll make money. I don't guarantee the, the lot. See, that's the thing. I don't want to invest more to make a little less. But we're here. Let's just... Well, this is just... Yes. Turn it off either. Wow, look at all the controllers. It's a clean car. Records. How's that wood? The back of these, the only problem is the back of these look like a Kia. That's the only problem with it. Let's get back to what we were looking at. I gotta look on the other side of this too. God dang it, I wish it wasn't messed up into that panel. Pretty clean! God, that's annoying, eh? That is about annoying. 158, like I say, I'm not at all scared of 158 on a pound car. Small town. This is what we need. This 
is what we need. Oh, it does roll the backs down. Okay. Um, let's try the AC. And I will go back and try the radio that's back here. Why they're nice Michelin's. So I believe their upkeep is probably pretty righteous. Yeah, they don't get in. Wow. F1. Sounds like there's a sea changer. Oh yeah, right there. It's not opening the, the window in between. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't know where air conditioning vents are. Oh, right there. It's coming out cold. Now that, oh yeah, I guess you would control it here. Oh, privacy. Okay, I like it. Let's buy a limo. Automotive buyer's club. It's automotive. Oh yeah, it's nice and cold. I'll just buy this and make it my new office. Actually, I'll buy that and make it my new office. I hate this camera being the way it is, but it's the way it is, so I'm trying to do what I can. My buddy Colin has an auction access with me. I put him on my account, and he called me up and said, or he texted me or something, 1300 or 1400 or cheapy cheapity. I forgot what the price was. It could have been 2300 I get them all mixed up. But they've been trying to sell this for three weeks. It's going to be here again. Oh, somebody scraped the front. That wasn't like that. Anybody who's seen it last time, let me know. That wasn't like that in my last video. I'm almost positive. But it's clean. Man, I don't know. Look at the seats. I don't know what the issue is with what it is. It really seemed to be a good running little car to me. Look at that freaking key. That is so weird and it has such a, wow, it's thick as can be. That's an amazing key. Probably lose that, you get a little niece on one. Yeah, it's not running exactly right, is it? Seems to go once it. Wow, it wants to go though. It's got the books. <laughs> Man, look how clean the door panels are. I, exhaust leak. Oh, some smoke coming out of the exhaust. I got 69 on it. Okay, let's see what else we got. 99 Silverado, baby. 97,000 miles on it. It's clean on the inside. It's cloth. There's a little wear right there. And these little inside handles and shit all fall off. Wow. Wow, that's fast. It's cold AC. And I think it's a green light truck. I like it. Got the books. Can't do as much with the phone, but I'm going to look at some more stuff. See what I mean? They got everything here. It's just amazing. Let's split that, guys. No, I'm not interested. I mean, like, well, I would do it for somebody. But I'm more interested in this. This will go for one-tenth of the price. But I've got a... Okay, Glass, record a video. Okay, so this is newer than I usually do. It's an 05 Jaguar. I mean, it's on my auto buyer's club I'm looking at. Now, somebody dinked it right there. It's a one or a two owner, super straight. Well, I mean, besides the obvious that I just showed you, as far as I've just seen... What these come with? 18s? 17s or 18s? Oh, uh, yeah, 18s. It's clean on the back. Yeah, you ever lock a 
lock a trunk to a jag and lose the key and can't get in, you got an issue. These keys are not. Speaking of oddball key, look at that beautiful wood. Oddball keys. That's uh, one of the oddest, ballest keys in the world. I believe this is a green light car. And an XJ8 was my first Euro car. I absolutely love them. And this one has 40, 43,693 miles. I don't know why that took so long to come on. Huh. Engine coolant low, it said. I don't like to see that. However, it doesn't completely scare me off. Carefully, carefully. Well, it's pretty low, too. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty low. Couldn't see it. <clears throat> They don't seem to be losing much, if any. If any. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to the next car. This is a nice one. Okay, this was not on my list, but it's a 2010 SRX with 72 on it. Nice little SUV. Seems to be pretty clean. Reminder, remote left in vehicle. No, oh, there's more than that left in here. Okay, let's see here. It seems hot right off the bat. Okay, glass. He's already on. Ah. Always trips me out trying to touch the button to turn him off. But this was not on my list. Well, I could lock it. It'd be an auto locker. It's pretty clean. Somebody I knew had one and they loved it. So I'm gonna put it on the Automotive Buyers Club list. See what we come up with. Okay, I'm in a Pontiac. And when I fired it up the first time, I knew you guys would want to hear it. I don't know what that's all about. It always screwed me up. Oh no, check engine. It don't sound like it's too bad, does it? That could be absolutely anything. I'm not deterred. Just running too rich, smoking a little bit. Could be a little oil leak or something. I don't know what it is, but I'll tell you what. That could be a car we're interested in. Okay, I'm going to type S. I just made a video. Like I say, a regular one. It's getting hard. I just dropped my freaking phone. It's getting hard. Okay, so this is another one on my list. It has a low mile type thing. It's red, which is awesome. It's red light, which means no guarantees. Monoblock AMG chrome wheels. It's nice. Now I get messed up if I'm doing a phone video and a glass video because I'm doing both. So I kind of get messed up with what I'm showing, I hope not. I think I am, a little bit. Here in these. Let's see here. I think my phone's going down. Oh yeah.
Now, we shall see what we end up with. This is a low mile car, but also a scary car. These can have problems. These can have problems. I don't know what that is. a lot of them okay look at some more cars well this is on the list it's 88,000 miles on an 04 it's newer than I usually do but same quality little car right clean these have interesting keys too why is this I don't know why this is key day. Oh, backup alert. <laughs> now I'm with it. And what about this? Automotive Buyers Club. And you guys are splitting stuff. This would be a neat one to split, but it's gonna be a $10,000 car. A 51,000 mile 96 Super Sport dent right there. I don't know if it's gonna be 10,000, but I guarantee it's gonna be seven to 11. It's probably worth 15 or more on eBay. 51,000 miles, ridiculous. Okay, there's two more cars here I wanna look at. Okay, so that is a quarter video. Okay, another one here. El Dorado Touring Coupe. It's got low miles. I'm looking for something nice for Anna to drive. That's my woman. And one of these is going to be it. Something like this. Um, so, who knows where something goes and what I buy. But this is a nice car. And I'd like to buy one of these. Oh, it's dead. It's dead to where we can't see that the head gasket's blown. It's even still got the Cadillac pin. Cadillac chrome. Okay, so there is all kinds of, ouch. There's all kinds of stuff on here. 98. Nice car, clean car. Makes you think it's got a head gasket problem because they all do. Why was I zoomed up so close? I'm sorry. See, this is not going to be good. I'm not used to doing this. I'm used to talking on my phone. Okay, so thanks for watching. Well, that's it. See? I'm doing this like this. Okay, people see these and they always ask, why don't you look at the little, yeah, whatever they call them, cars. And the wheels are nice and all. This is a one owner. It's got way more miles than I want. And usually you figure they're like really thrashed by the time they get here. It actually looks pretty clean. It does look pretty clean. I mean, it's faded. It's old. But it's a pretty clean little little car. That's locked up. Really clean on the inside. They're going to want a lot more than it's worth. Okay, well that one will be on the Automotive Buyers Club thing. Auto Buyers Club 99 with 93. You ever see the one where they like bounce shopping carts off the doors and crap? Manual. A low mile car that no lot can go wrong with. The frick, there's a. There we go. Quality engineering. Quality engineering. Okay, Glass, record a video. Okay, this will be one of the last things I'm looking at. It's a 93 multivan with 114 or so. Oh, wow, it's in nice shape. Ooh, floor shifter. Flipped around seats. By this year, they were 
a little bit more gutsy. Performance technique. Wow. It's really ballsy. Yeah, whatever that says. I'm finding a lot of this today where some of the ACs ain't blowing. Not even blowing. Oh, windows do not work. Oh wait, one at a time? Seriously? Well now back. It just rolled down by itself. Now it's going up. Wow. Now that's a weird glitch. That one is not going down either way. AC's not cold. I'm done. Okay, that's the deal. I'm, I already want to look at nothing else. So, I'll clip it in the outro here. Listen to it because it'll be about stuff. It'll be about stuff, he says. Okay, I lied. There's this one on there too. Look, he's got the little hood locks. Cool car, manual M3. Hope you can see it. I'm just passing through quick. They are kicking me out. And it's past five o'clock. Okay, well that was it. It's something you're gonna to wanna to be a part of. Make sure and add me on Facebook. You can enter Serial Marshmallows and pull up my personal and my page. Like my page, add me as a friend. Message me, tell me you're interested. Comment in the video below mostly though. Let's keep track and get this video. Share this video. If you're in the Automotive Buyers Club, do your part and share these videos where people know and people see and we pull more people to help do this and we can make it more awesome. Um, I'm going to get help in here and that's going to help. I've been talking to a guy named Gunner and three other people that I can't even and I'm going to pull this all together somehow. It's just what they do and if we can do and out here versus out there and if somebody quits their job and then comes out and it doesn't work. Oh my God. So you know what I mean. We're making this work though and it's going to get bigger and bigger and snowball. Yeah. Yeah, the neighbors definitely think I'm nuts. I think so.